Welcome to West of Tulsa. I'm C.J. Ward, and we are broadcasting from Ventura, California, and this is our first Wagon Wednesday. We can have a second one, I hope, at some point. Mm. The whole crew is here. We got Beth at helm, and doing? we got Gabe. Yo. So, so what's up? Wagon Wednesday number one. How did this whole idea come up anyway? I think it's when I asked you a question during one of our shows. I think, yeah, you asked uh, where, how did the station wagon term come from? Um, where did the name from? come where from? Where did it come from? Right, right. And I think I did grew do you, up. Do you want to explain again? Because yeah, uh, now. the station wagon um, term came from the railroad um, era where they would use the station wagons to pick up um, the people at the train station and bring them back to their hotels. And all their luggage. And, and all their that, yeah. Yeah, um, luggage and all that. And what was the era? Uh, that well, well, I would imagine it probably began before the cars. They probably had oh, yeah. buggies and horse-drawn carriages that would pick up people at the train station and do the same thing. But then, when they came along with vehicles, they just exactly. They and then I know on. Um, before the station wagon term um, came about, they were considered depot hacks. Oh, a what? Yeah, depot hacks. What the heck? For more information, you can Google it. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna make you work yeah, there, thanks, Gabe. Man. Well, <laughs> just goes to show you how much we prepared for this <laughs> show. I, I got it. You said depot hacks. Yeah. Yes. What hack is in like a hack a cabbie hack? Yeah, exactly. That kind of thing? Exactly. Okay. Hack a exactly. Cabbie. What the hell, Dan? Dan, you know. See, a lot. That, that's what like a New York yeah. thing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, Dan, can you explain that? Because I don't. Well, know I, how are you talking about? I know it from Seinfeld. I <laughs> okay, I wasn't a Seinfeld See? guy. Can you explain? It's old school. That's all I know. What do you, like you it's, hack like you hate no 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 a hack is like a, a nickname for a cab driver exactly. oh I don't know why it's just oh. one of those slides. it's probably from the 30s or 40s or something okay. I don't know well okay and then we you put it all together and you got a station wagon exactly all right okay just so, to know, we're, we're not term, we're not car experts at, by any means no no As, everybody's not. probably figured out by now we are learning and yes. their obsessions yes. and that's your obsession yes, uh, yes. I, I love wagons I think everybody that knows me knows that I own them and drive them. And specifically within the Mercedes Benz uh, community. Yeah, but you've had other brands of wagons. You've had, oh yeah, not just Mercedes. Yeah, not. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had um, BMWs um, on the JDM side, uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, uh, Sportback wagon. Explain JDM to I think our, I know. to to Beth or or to anybody right. that doesn't know what JDM. Oh, I mean is. the Japanese, the Japanese um, uh, culture. Um, JDM stands for. But Japanese, what does it stand Japanese. for? What does the D stand for? Domestic Thank market. You. Market. I was going to say yes. maker. Yeah. Japanese domestic. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, but, but where it's my, my love for the wagon stemmed from my, my first, um, uh, one W one, two, three diesel. So, and you may have to explain that too. Exactly. A W one, two, three. And that's the Mercedes chassis. Mercedes Benz chassis. Code. Exactly. The right. chassis code. Okay. And why do, why do they use chassis codes? <laughs> no, I think you got them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> Maybe the code has. That's to go, where I'm. <laughs> maybe the code has to go with every other part that that makes the car, right? Does that make sense? It's got to be an yeah. Yeah. There is somebody yeah. in the comments that's gonna. That's what I was gonna chime say. in here yeah. and yeah. thank God for that. Go. I just know that, that I own. have about. no idea. So exactly. full disclaimer: we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Well, it's like when you're putting stories. together a dresser, right? And it has D D D and A A and all the. <laughs> All right, know. we're putting that out to our audience. What are why do they use chassis, chassis codes, codes and how did those come about? Like, what's the history of that? Because we don't know. We're not experts. No. So why are we here? <laughs> anyway, because we well, love cars. Well, look, one yeah, thing we, we yes, and we, we like the not, stories. We may not know what that is, but we all have a station wagon story. Yes. Oh we yeah. Do. Okay. Absolutely. So let's start with Dan. Yeah. What's your, <laughs> yeah, what Dan. Your, what's your wagon story? This is a 1973 Chevelle SS. I learned because of Steve Feist. We we had the uh, Chevelle on what a couple shows ago, mm -hmm. right? That that was part of his episode. Yeah. And I know Chevelle is like a super high performance version of a Chevy car. Yeah. And my parents had the Caprice version of this wagon, so it wasn't this. This has a big engine under the hood and everything, and it's I'm sure it got tighter suspension and stuff. I rode around in that thing, but it. I looked at that picture. They only made 73 of these, mm -hmm. which I which I looked up. I researched a little bit. They only made 73 of them, so they're extremely rare. Mm -hmm. So seeing that, I just kind of said, I looked at the lines and go, that looks like the wagon my parents had. It's very similar. What do you remember from bringing that wagon? Uh, I'm not going to bring it. Yeah, that. come on, <laughs> man. Oh, oh, you know oh, it's here. Oh. Come on. Like, my dad beat me in this car. <gasps> oh, or no. Or, uh, I don't know. No, first date. There, there was first a story. Date. Remember, there was a story that we had in rehearsal shows that I don't think I should bring up. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm a bath. Let's go to you. I have before a, we implode. A, a, a more we go pure lovely memory of my parents' Dodge Monaco, <laughs> and it was Dodge kind of a creamy Monaco. almond color with the the wide uh, wa- wood paneling oh, on nice. the side, right? And I just remember having really fond memories. I mean, you know, on a summer day, and mom loading up the car, and and. Uh, and we'd have, you know, all the, the beach chairs in the back and the towels, and we'd be in the back seat, never wearing seatbelts because that wasn't yeah. a thing yeah. in the front. And the wind, rolling the windows down with the crank. And, um, and I, I just, I always remember we'd have a styrofoam cooler, and my mom would make sandwiches, which, you know, egg salad sandwich at the beach wasn't great. But anyway, sorry, mom. <laughs> and then, uh, so we'd have those, and then driving. And I remember my dad was like, what's that squeaking? And he'd flip out. Like if that thing was squeaking the whole drive to the beach, <laughs> he'd have to pull over to readjust so the squeaky little styrofoam <laughs> cooler wasn't squeaking. Anyway, I just have really fond memories of that. I could tell you a million other stories with That's it. Awesome. but it was. A, and in the later years, she'd overheat, and my mom would have to pull over if we were going up a hill and let her cool down. Her name was Bessie, by the way. I was going to say. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I, I knew she had a name. I she knew you were going to yep. get to that at some yep. point. People, hey, you had to love it. You got to love a vehicle if you if you name it, right? Oh, exactly. If you, if you give it a name. So we didn't name ours when I was growing up, but it was a 1972 green Ford Country Squire wagon. And it had the fake or the faux wood on the side. Oh, I remember those. those. Yes. The, the Clark yeah. Griswold family vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> with, with fewer headlights. Yeah, the family trucks. Yeah. And then we, I rem- my memories of that, probably... You know, obviously early seventies, mid seventies, we'd go to the drive in and we'd back in mm. the Ford Square. We we'd all be in our sleeping yeah. bags. We'd That's open awesome. up the top and the bottom and we'd all lay there and put the the little speaker. speaker. Yeah. yeah. And we'd sit there and watch at the drive in. Yeah. And I, great memories of being in the back of that old Ford Country Square. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. The only station wagon that I remember, I don't remember riding it, was my mom's uh, Mercury Bobcat. Oh. White with pea green interior. You know, at the time, you know, definitely hated it. I, I thought it was ugly. But now that I, you know, love wagons and can go back, I mean, I'd, I'd drive that thing right now. You know, well, where would you ever see one again? I know exactly. Why, and it was a two door. Yeah. A oh, two door. That's interesting. Yeah. Wow. You have to that's... flip the, the seats forward, right? Mm-hmm, just hop mm-hmm. in. Okay. It was like a Mercury Nomad. <laughs> <laughs> the body lines are cool. I mean, when I look at uh, look at uh, old photos now, I I could appreciate the lines. Have you ever have you ever Googled to try and see if you could see one again or see if there's one out there? Oh, there there there's there's a lot of them out there, but people are putting like small block, you know, uh, oh. uh, Chevys in there for a little bit more power. Sure. But a uh, stock one I haven't seen um, restored um, mm. in its in its state. That's right. You like stock. Yeah. Yeah. And they all have the the button up right near the brake where you'd press it for the high beam low beam. Do you remember that? Ooh, oh, yeah. I don't. No, oh, the foot switch. The little yeah. foot switch, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yep, yep. That's a little before my time. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's up in the corner by your up behind your left foot. Oh, up to the really? upper right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And you would have to. And sometimes it would stick, and you'd be like <clears throat> <clears throat> trying to get. They it. need to bring that back. I know. Do they? It makes sense. What's wrong with a switch? Because it's cool to do that with your foot. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing that point. <laughs> <laughs> so what about yours? Yeah, mine was uh, my grandmother's Datsun five. I'll say 520 wagon, mm. something like that. Um, she had the backwards facing seat in oh. that. Oh. And it was a dozen. It wasn't a very big car, but I just remember being like hot as heck in the uh, <laughs> San Fernando Valley, uh, yeah. just with me, my brother, you know, sometimes our cousins and just driving in the back. I just loved it. It was white with like that blue, that, I don't know, like that, I don't know what kind of blue it was, like a royal blue interior I don't know if that's the right color but yeah it was just a super cool that's car cool. did that the was... back window roll down or no no so it was uh, hot oh it was Ooh. hot no tint oh, ac yeah. barely worked you yeah. know and san fernando valley yep go figure Yikes. you know so yeah that's my that's my memory of the wagon. did you ever think that we'd all be sitting here devoting an entire show just to station wagons because when you grow up they're just utility vehicles they are and now they've actually become hot yeah yeah i mean well I mean, when they started putting power in these wagons, even from back in the 60s and 70s, yeah. you know, they just, I just thought they were the coolest thing. And now that I have a, have a daughter, I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool to take the whole family in a wagon, obviously with some power, you know, but I don't know. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I think they've always been cool. It's just for different reasons, you know? Right. All right. I got a topic. I got a topic. Most of us, not everyone have raised kids. Minivan versus wagon. We had a wagon and, and minivan both. I drove the minivan here today. That's right. And you have, we had a Passat wagon. Oh, that's right. And I, you know, it was, I love, I love station oh, wagons yeah. and at the time they were making them. And so it was this light blue. But the question is, is a minivan, 
as cool as a wagon or wagons much cooler. <laughs> Why would that be? Oh. Same purpose. I think wagons are cooler. I do. I mean, I love the minivan. You can fit so many people in it. You can fit surfboards in it. You can yeah. fit a whole volleyball team of girls yeah. in it. It's and probably guys. It's just a great van. Um, it's a frumpier drive in a way. Frumpier drive. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. In a way. It's interesting because my wife wouldn't be caught dead in a wagon or a minivan. She prefers the SUV. Mm. Right. So you know, we have or had a couple wagons that she would never really drive. You know, I, I I had to drive them or whatever. She's like, yeah, wagon's cool. But she's like, you will never catch me in a minivan ever. I'm like, all right, well. Why not? Really? <laughs> well, after she sees some of the submissions here, because we had we asked viewers to send Thank us some know. of their, their wagons. Sure. Mm-hmm. After yeah. she sees some how beautiful some of these cars are, she, oh, yeah. may, she may change her mind about exactly. wanting to I'm drive I'm keeping my fingers crossed because that would be awesome. Oh, if you got so. into the and, to, and to me personally, I'm like the opposite. If, if you were to ask me, uh, you know, a uh, wagon or a minivan, I would definitely do. I would transition from the wagon to a minivan and not do a SUV. Yeah, wow. that that, you know? that fits your yeah. creepy personality. Yeah. <laughs> actually, you know, that's what I I love. You know? Yeah. All right. Should we look at some of the submissions? Yes. So explain. So you sure. guys put this out on social media, right? Yeah. yeah. And ask people to send it in. Talk about that just for a second. Oh yeah. Um, we put out a post um, asking for our viewers to. Um, for all the wagon owners out there to share um, photos of their wagons. And we definitely got a great response of um, uh, different owners out there with different makes and models. And part of it, because you've got, what, Wagon Estates? Talk about that. Oh, too. yes, yeah. Well, uh, wagon Estate is a is a page of mine that I started after my love for the long roof uh, came into play. And not knowing how big the community was, you know, I just put out, you know, my my photos of my wagon and my builds. And then eventually just caught on fire where I saw how close the community was from different makes and models. And um, I wanted to utilize that page to kind of create like a lifestyle um, of wagon um, with the wagon community. Helm, you, you've got to explain long roof yeah, and long. then wagon and then estate. How many names are there? For yeah, there's these different vehicles? there's different um, uh, designations of names from station wagons, long roof, combi, um, uh, combi, estate. I'm sorry, isn't a combi more like a Volkswagen mm-hmm. minivan? Or but 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 the long but the long okay. roof um, um, aspect of it. Um, but yeah, but my term that I, I embrace is the station wagon. But other people uh, definitely uh, describe their their wagons differently. Okay, I am. and I think that's why we did the wagon show. It was it's not like the Ford or the Chevy, which obviously would be cool too. But the wagons, like you know, the all makes and models. Mm-hmm. You know, the wagon guys. You know, I learned a lot through Helm and through the wagon estate, and even like the, the Mercedes guys. Like, oh yeah. Uh, they're fanatics about wagon. Wagon owners are fanatics, a fanatic about wagons. And they see another wagon, doesn't matter the maker or model, like, hey, wagon. Whereas, like, a Chevy guy, like Steve Feisty, I wouldn't be giving a thumbs up to somebody who <laughs> drives a Ford or a Dodge or whatever. You I know? think wagons are more intimate. I, mm. I guess that's part of it. They're more intimate than a van. Mm. Sorry, I'm just thinking in my head mm. what's so wonderful about them. And they do have family nostalgia, mm. I think. I yeah. agree with that completely. Yeah. yeah. People see them and go, oh, oh, I remember when we head out. Yeah. Same I here. just, I mean, I, I love, I mean, I love the basic um, styling of it, but the utilitarian aspect, it, it's, mm-hmm. it's functional as mm-hmm. well with the right amount of space that I need. And um, um, when I'm driving and I don't have kids, I don't have pets, but you'll see my wagons with like the, the, the pet um, net up. And you know, third third row seat up. So it's, it's. I thought you the first time I saw you taking photos, or I think you're doing what was it, Zoom or something. And I'm like, God, did <laughs> is is Helm in the back of a police car? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, CJ, I'm busted. in my wagon because <laughs> the net. But I love that de- the details in in the wagons. You know, mm-hmm. right? All right, let's get to these submissions. Um, Dan, you want to pop up the first one and yeah. take a look again? These were sent in That's through beautiful. what Instagram. Most of these? Uh, yeah. Well, we we put out the message through Instagram, and okay. everybody had emailed um, us their, their their pictures with, with just, you know, their name and a little details about that. But, yeah. So this is a, um, Alice's 1985 S123. Beautiful. I love the color. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's really a, a faded blue, would you say? It's a, I think it's a silver, silver. Oh, she calls it the silver bullet, I okay. think. Okay. Um, and uh, she got this from our friend Blue Nelson. 
So I'm pretty sure it's of the highest quality car, I would imagine. Beautiful. It's now, Beth, gorgeous. you would like one of these. It's beautiful. Yeah. I could see Beth rolling around I could see Santa Barbara. Around around. Totally. Oh, yeah. And I love the hubcaps. Yeah. Yep. That's, my, that's my favorite. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Take a look at the next that's one. That's very cool. Armin's one two. He didn't the, give us a year on this one. There's uh, a what, can you W124 get? chassis. Okay. Um, what's special about this car? Because I know um, Armin within our Benz community and the Three Point Social Club, uh, as well as Wagon Estate. Um, when he was looking for a wagon, he had found one in the San Fernando Valley, specifically Northridge. And um, I was with him when he purchased this from uh, the previous owner. And I know he's showing you an after shot of what he did to the car, but if you saw it in its original state. It it's been it, it looks totally different. Hundred eighty cool. degree. That's cool. Same color. Uh, it no, it's a different. He he went d deeper on the on the black. And he took it color. down. It's really low. Yeah. and it's on a air ride. And then talk about those hubcaps. So I think th those are actual wheels, right? Those yeah. those aren't those, those aren't hubcaps. Um, those are the the bl the the fans, the BBS fans. Oh, those are BBSs. Yeah. Oh, that's sick, dude. That was cool. Those toys? really clean, clean. I think those toys. Uh, nineteen. 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 That was clean. I like it. Beautiful. What do you think it's like a 90s era? Was it 90s? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 95, 96. Well, yeah, the last of that body style is 95. Okay. And the back seat, it's not a bench seat, is it? Are there two seats? Uh, I can't yeah. tell. Or is it a bench seat? Uh, a bench, and then it has the third row seat in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Um, here it comes. There it is. Oh, oh I, love Ooh, Bernie. I love this. Bernie, my man Bernie. Seven <laughs> stock, what's up? So uh, Bernie sent this in. This is... Um, his, I think his, his, his parents or his uncle's car, I, I, I forget. Um, but uh, yeah, I think those are his brothers sitting on the hood there. And what I really, it's a 68 uh, Bel Air. It was white with uh, blue, cool blue interior and uh, uh, rear hatch uh, as that backward facing seats, I think. Yeah. Uh, I really like this picture one because they're probably eating ice cream or whatever in LA because they're burning <laughs> in LA. But I like this because it reminds me of like when I was a kid, I could actually. I wasn't too heavy to dent the hood, and so I could. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bernie's a big uh, uh, rotary guy, but he grew up with a lot of these, um, you know, muscle cars and stuff That's like awesome. that too. I thought that was really cool. That's and and we were talking about it before that it's sad how many people don't have photos with their family. With, with their, their family. family. Oh yeah, car. yeah. This yeah. is a great. Picture. I would love to do a show where we just do family photos, yeah. photos with cars. Yeah. You know, do a collage. That would be really cool. That's a great idea. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the That's next cool. one. Oh, beautiful! Um, our man Blue, oh, Blue. Blues, um, W one two four, um, two thirty TE four cylinder, um, right hand drive from the UK. This specific shot um, he took uh, in Macedonia, um, and that's a period correct uh, boxes on top of of the wagon. Really, really rare um, piece. Um, and I had asked them, what are all those stickers on, on the back windows? And it was all the different countries that he passed through. He would grab a sticker <laughs> after he passed it and, and put it on the on on the window. Are those factory wheels on there? Yes. That's cool. I've never seen those before. Hubcaps, yeah. Initially, it, I thought it was an 80s era Volkswagen. But oh, then yeah. they, obviously the hubcaps, it's Mercedes. Because of the, the, the box. Yes, probably, the boxiness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what year, do you know what, what year is that one? Do you know? Um, I think it's a say year. 93. Oh, That's what I was okay. saying, early 90s. Right. Yeah. That's, That's cool. But a beautiful color. Beautiful Love color. That picture. So cool. And yeah, and it just it shows that he definitely drives his wagons, you know. I love the storage on top. Oh, Man, yeah. That thing is beautiful, huge. Beautiful, beautiful boxes. Yeah. Right. Take a look at the next one. Oh, Cameron Cameron's Cameron's Mix. Uh, so this another W124. Yeah, so this one's, yeah, a 1995. Yeah, yeah. E320. E320. Are those, uh, are those AMG wheels? Yeah, a monoblock. Mono, yeah, those are one cool. Piece. That's, that's definitely time period. Yeah. Period correct. I remember a lot of cars had those back in the day, but not like that. I like that shot he did, too. I could tell it must be during the holidays because you see the Santa hat on oh, the yeah. hood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hood ornament. Damn, you are about the details, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It looks like the mountains behind in El Centro or San Jacinto. I can't All tell. Of, yeah. oh, the desert. Really yeah. pretty. Yeah. I like are his those... Instagram handle, Shagwag. Shag. <laughs> <laughs> are those windows legal, those tinted windows? Yeah. Uh, and it could, front. it could depend where you are. <laughs> in California, no. Maybe. They, I don't know. Well, I think I as long say. as you have the drivers and the passenger in the front that aren't tinted, is that how it works here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? That is really clean. <laughs> really clean. And and Cameron sent us another one. I think, that's, I think oh. it's the next one coming up. 
Yep. Oh, he has Everything. the one, two, three Beautiful. combo. Wow. Yeah, this is an 84 TD, 300 yeah. TD. Yeah, pretty cool. TD, turbo diesel. Turbo yeah. diesel. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. I love the color. I love I like the, the bunt wheels. Is that yeah. a dent on the uh, driver's side? Or is that like just a it. reflection? Or is that somebody in the picture? I can't tell. I can't tell. Either way, it looks like a, a daily or something like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Did you have, you have, yours is a 300 TD, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 83. Oh, cool. What year is this? Uh, 84. 84. 84. Yeah. Do you feel it, it, it has a Volvo esqueness to it, I think, with the design? Do you, do you feel that they kind, kind of, of shared, emulate each shared other? Shared aesthetics and, and kind yes. of inspiration on them. Possibly. I think the roof awesome. racks kind of, because I think the Volvos had the roof racks too. Yeah. Yeah. Those are cool. I like it. Yeah. yeah I love that color. Too. Yeah. It's like a Malaga red. Some Malaga. Uh, yeah, Malaga red, I think is what some manufacturers call it. Yeah. But Kind of beautiful, deep blood like red. a maroon, like a yeah, like a maroon, or yeah. oxtails blood. Yeah, cool. yeah. All right, the next one. Now this one's cool. The next one because we saw this oh. one this morning. Yeah, so this is uh, Christopher uh, Miranda's car. Um, I saw him at the Cars and Coffee. I've been seeing him uh, for the last couple of months at the Cars and Coffee here in Ventura, and um, he has he submitted. He saw our, our post and submitted his uh, his uh, is a Pulsar. Uh, yeah, it's an eighty eight. Yeah, and uh, he said that. Uh, all original except for the uh, equipped wheels um, that he has on, which I think is a nice touch. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like pretty much all original. The, the yeah. interior, I wish we had interior pics of this car. The interior is like super clean. It's almost, I wouldn't say brand new, but it's like, w this car was well taken oh, care yeah. of. And, and it's it, from back east. Yeah. And he said that that, that sport back or that, that top, mm -hmm. there's two versions of that. There's that version and then he has the a coupe version. It makes it a coupe, yeah. Yeah, that makes it a coupe. So the top is interchangeable. Yeah. And, but what I'd ask him um, this morning at the meet, I was like, because you have the two accessories to kind of morph the car from a coupe to a wagon, which one do you prefer better? And he said this, because that's what kind of, you know, uh, gave him the, the love for wagons. And it's an amazing car. We, we got some footage, which you, you'll be seeing on the socials um, of a walk around of the car. But, you know, I, I guess I asked him, I was like, well, what was it, of, you know, with the car that kind of you gravitated? Because it's just the, the styling. I mean, he's a younger cat. So mm -hmm. it's like a younger guy. And when he saw it, he just, I just... There was this connection, and that's like, cool. And, had to have it, and well, I had to have it. Just and, in like the few minutes that we were talking to him, some other guys came up to him and was like, "Man, I, me I remember seeing one of these things. It reminded me of this and that, or whatever." I'm like, "Oh, that's exactly why we're doing this yep. because yeah. yeah, we're trying to you know bring up these memories that might have been lost and get people to recall them." I think it's really really cool. So, you know, cheers to Christopher for having that and bring that out and getting people to like really talk about. You know, yeah, and share it with us. Yeah, absolutely. And so again, if we haven't said the whole thing, it's a 1988 Nissan Pulsar NX with sport sportback, sportback. Yeah. yeah, and what he had shared um, with us earlier this morning, because at the show there was a Hearst um, Cadillac Hearst yeah. um, wagon that was slammed on the ground, and he said that among amongst the uh, Nissan Pulsar uh, sportback community. The nickname for this car is a uh, uh, Smurf hearse. It has a hearse-like <laughs> look. The and I'm like, really? The left shot there. I I'm like, that's too. cool. Now I can see it. When he said that, yeah. I got a squint in my eyes. I'm like, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, yeah. And those yeah. exposed headlights, right? Exactly. Tuck back yeah. in. And yeah, yeah. Out. super cool. I, I have a memory, guys, of the Nissan Pulsar. I remember being 15 years old. I don't know how I got a hold of it. I got a brand new shiny brochure for the Nissan Pulsar. <laughs> and I remember leaving it laying around, hoping that oh. the, oh, the no. Christmas, you know, I didn't get my <laughs> license. So it never happened. But I remember lusting after the oh, Nissan Pulsar when cool. I was 15 going, that's a, that's a cool yeah. car. It's yeah. so modern. It's that's so funny. It is funny how when new models come out and you have that, you have that, you see it and go, oh my God, that's so cool. Yeah. It doesn't take long before you go, Oh God! I've seen two million of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the tail end from this shot here on the left side is kind of gremlin looking as well. You know, yeah. big huge. Oh yeah, window, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the tail lights. All right, really cool. Take a look at the next one. We're gonna go back in time here. Oh, yeah. oh damn! So this is a '54 Buick Century. Beautiful wagon. Yeah, I think this was. Yeah, Denny said this was uh, one of. 1,563 ever made. A state, yeah. yeah. State it's wagon. a steel. Yeah, steel. For a steel wagon. First steel wagon made by Buick. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Looks like he uh, he uses it quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he uses it 
to deliver bombs. Apparently. <laughs> I thought it was a longboard and then a bomb, so no. Two. And a cannon. <laughs> Don't, like you see the other photo with a cannon in the back? A, is it a fuel tank or a bomb? I can't tell. I don't know, it looks like a bomb. It looks, it, it's cool either way. Yeah. But it just shows you It just shows you the, the size of the roof. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, this is a huge... It, I've seen this in person. Beautiful car. It's it's huge. But the, the styling of it, the details, and, you know, the way that Danny um, preserves his classic cars, I think this is one of um, his uh, favorite cars in his collection. Um, I like how the really belt cool. line comes down there to the yeah. Yeah. rear, rear yeah. quarter. That's two-tone. Really cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, two-tone. And that's you original know, paint, correct? Yeah. You know, the other... If you get, have you ever ridden in this era car? Mm-hmm. I mean, it not this one, but... It drives so well. Oh, yeah. It's like a I mean, boat. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just floats. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love, the, I love the feel of that. Absolutely. These big, especially the wagons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helm, I have a question for you. Is yeah. there such a thing as a long, long roof? <laughs> no, seriously. I, well, seriously. Think about it. Because I, you see movies from the 50s and 60s where it's like, semi. we're going to the dude ranch. And they go to pick up people at the depot. Yeah, at yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The extra, and, the extra long. Yeah, you mean like it's, a it's semi like, limousine? It's like S? two or three sets of doors. Yeah. Versus just yeah, you know what? I you know, I haven't seen back. any uh, personally, but I think somebody that that could be somebody's uh, next build. Hmm. I think the longest one I saw there was definitely the hearse. I mean, the hearse that's a, for it to be you know that's a long lower, lower. The car looks longer too. This sure. thing went for yeah, yeah. Days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll post that on the Instagram. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, All right. take a look at the next one. All right. Francis. Oh, nice. Uh, Ninety five. Yeah, this is 95. This is Francis Esta uh, from Selection. Um, I had an opportunity to see this beautiful car in person, and um, it's a 95 280E right-hand drive, and he imported it from Japan. And um, seeing it in person, just the, it's so clean, and the styling of it, um, especially he, with the monoblock two blades. Did he get it with the wheels, or did he add No, no, he added that. Okay. I like um, the nice touch. It's beautiful. Right hand drive. That's crazy. From Japan. That's cool. So um, definitely, uh, this is the, for for this style of the one two fours. I mean, keeping it at that ride height and with the the wheels, it's just like period correct. You know. Hmm. That's cool. I can totally see that in Japan. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. So, so what is involved? Too. What what all is involved? Isn't it like a whole big deal to import a car from Japan or oh, Europe yeah. or anything? Like, yeah. did have have any of you guys ever done that? No, imported a car. Uh, I bought a car that was imported, but I didn't actually do the importing. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of companies that do that. Um, that import cars like a top rank or whoever they import like you know a Nissan Skyline or cars over here it's getting actually really popular because now cars like the cool cars that we all grew up with are now older than 25 or 38 mm. even years old mm -hmm. so it's kind of it's definitely getting popular to do it it's cool so it's, all it's 25 years is what uh, you I think it to do. I don't, don't quote me on that but that's 20 it, it seems to be 25 years okay. or older that they can actually legally import the car uh. so you know uh, cool. um, next one I, who's the knucklehead who submitted this one? I think I know what you're getting Let's at. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see who sent this one. Oh, that's <laughs> why. Okay, talk about this one, Gabe. I don't want to talk about it because this was a sore spot. This is the only car, the only car I regret selling. As much as I don't didn't want to don't want the or didn't want to sell the '66 Nova back to Steve. I'm okay with it because it's in better hands. This particular car, I had lots of hopes and dreams, and I got talked out of it, and I sold it to build my drag car. But this was the before shot that that <laughs> I, I submitted because there's an – well, go ahead and put the next one up there. <laughs> this is the um, – not after – this is the never Ooh. shot. This is what I was trying to build. And I regret not going through with it because this yeah. is – so this is what reminded me of my grandmother. I wanted to build a, a, a wagon because I grew up with one with my grandmother, and I wanted to call it Grandma's Dragon Wagon. Oh, <laughs> oh I remember oh. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to do it like, you know, like a Japanese – old-school Japanese, like, drag car, you know, that I could drive on the street. Is that so. a tube chassis? No, it was. Oh, no. I I mean, that's just a rendering, but that's you know, I planned planned to have like a full roll cage in there because I wanted Man. to go fast and tub it in the rear, but put big fatties in the rear. But I don't know, maybe one day, one day I'll do it. Maybe say, maybe, the, maybe the dream's my, not dead. Well, <laughs> that car is sitting literally like a mile and a half from here at 
uh, my friend's sh- uh, paint shop, his dad owns it, and you know he still refuses to sell it back. Oh, to me. Really? oh. Well, he he loves the car. He I mean he drives it. He's been working on it, you know. And I was like, I would love to buy that car back because the story of just buying that car when I got it in South Central LA was really cool. But uh, we'll see. I mean, Keep asking. I'm all yeah. Know, right? I'm not gonna give up asking. Yeah. You know, does it have the back seat? The back back seat? No, um, this one does does not. Um, it, the back was just a open thing, so it, it was only two row. Or, you know, had just the back seat there, but yeah. Has it been repainted or is it? Uh, no, he's done the body work on it. He hasn't painted oh, no. it. He has, you know, it's messed up. He actually called me and says, hey, he's like, what colors were you thinking? In case we wanted to sell it back to you, I'm <laughs> sure it's a color you no. like. Oh, I'm like, what? what? And I was like, well, let me show you what, what color. But that was like four years ago and he hasn't painted it. So, so you I'm don't like, want false hope, right? Yeah, that's, he totally gave me false hope. So it's, it's still, pri- it's just primered or? It's probably primer. Oh, no. I haven't seen it in, in, in a while, but yeah. So. All right, so we got we have back to back knucklehead submissions. Who's this next one? Uh, by the way, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh Helm, oh, Helm, that's gorgeous. Talk oh, about yeah, it. Yeah, beautiful. Is... Thanks for submitting a low quality. <laughs> <laughs> our, our 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 team photographer sends us this crappy image of a car. It's right a nicely on. paved asphalt road. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. buddy. <laughs> it's um an eighty three uh, W one two three three hundred TD uh, turbo diesel um, wagon that I acquired from friend Blue who uh restored it for me and this is the car that got me uh into loving wagons in general but specifically mercedes-benz even in black and white you can see that the chrome on those yeah. wheels oh yeah ah. and this is the one you got from uh that was uh, previously the mayor oh yeah um it was owned by the uh, mayor uh, from ferndale california yeah. and he he ordered this one right yeah european delivery wow that's crazy in 83 is that a pretty rare color is black well, no, not black, but um, the interior being black, black on black is uh, because uh, uh, most of the Northern American um, wagons had uh, like the lighter brown interior, uh, and brown, um, like Palomino brown. What and, are the um, those style of, of hubcaps called? Is there a particular name? Uh, no, just, uh, just hubcaps, but oh. color match too. Okay. I love that's my favorite. Oh, I, I love that style with the, with the white walls. You yeah, know, it's 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 a gorgeous. nice style. And with the European, the headlights are different, right? Because aren't they? Oh yeah, they're European. Aren't they a little more? Yeah, and the, bump, and the the bumpers as well. Okay, yeah. short. So like- right now, um, what I'm doing with the car too, it's um because of the elements and and the patina that I've acquired throughout the years, it's going into a look that. Shout out to my friend J G Francis, owner of Mercedes Motoring. Um, he's the one that inspired me with his shop wagon to kind of go that route now with um, with it to kind of preserve the patina and protect it, but have that contrast of that uh, just the age that it's 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 going through. So um, uh, be on the lookout when I do take it out to the next uh, upcoming shows. I'm excited for you for all of you guys to see it. I like it. And you, you prefer diesel? You love diesel rides? Well, I mean, I've learned to love it because my first. Um, entry into mercedes benz was my 240d um sedan that was diesel so not knowing anything about diesel i was just like wait what there's no spark plug it's a glow plug you have to use the green handle at the at the gas station (laughs) yeah you do um so but i've learned to love it and plus you know with blue tuning my car um it's pretty quick you know the infamous blue yeah so Helm. i love this guy and i'm gonna i'm gonna say it on the record and you can replay this later on how many years this this wagon i i will never get rid of yeah it has definitely Unless sentimental feel it. <laughs> Helm, Helm. <laughs> well then i'll know that it coming to ventura what, what, <laughs> what's what's the experience of driving because you you have some gas wagons right? yeah yeah what's what's the difference between driving oh. a td versus driving a yeah. gas wagon? well with, and specifically a turbo i mean i think it's just i mean with this car i don't turn on the radar i want to hear that engine yeah. um you definitely get all senses are kind of uh heightened from you know your hearing because of the engine the feel um of the engine when it's idling um the smell mm-hmm. is different mm-hmm. you know um but i've learned to to love um the diesel platform cool. you sent another car too so let's pop it over to helm's second car second submission oh, oh yeah that's my 94 uh w124 um wagon um, that's my yeah. This is my daily. And Why is the picture so dark? Is it because you're trying to hide all the dust? Uh, oh, <laughs> it is filthy. It yes, is I filthy. Know. Every time you come in my house, it's but, like why? Is <laughs> it is filthy. But this thing is a workhorse. Um, I love it. Um, I did some major work recently, and it's 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 like a brand new car. And a shout out um, to Armin, who you saw his one two four earlier. That I um, I mentioned that I was there when he bought that. 
he was uh he was the one that found me that period correct rocket box so you guys found each other's cars uh no 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 not the car the rocket box on my car oh rocket box yeah oh sorry I thought that was your nickname for your car sorry and <laughs> yeah and and um and that's what what's great about the community not only in the wagon but also Merce our Mercedes Benz community with a three point is that we look out um for each other okay. so whether it's like parts or if somebody has an issue we all definitely well come just together. by this amount of Mercedes submissions oh I know they're right? definitely helping you out because you know you ask them to send pictures and they should yeah send pictures so that's cool and what's cool about um that uh, uh, that uh, rocket box when Armin, um, this was probably, I would say, f four and a half years ago, four and a half to five. He's like, Helm, there's a rocket box, paired correct, 1994 for the 124 in Thousand Oaks. And I'm like, great. Well, how much is it? $200 plus it has two sets of the of the roof rack. Mercedes Benz. So those roof rack are they're all, that's a Mercedes Benz um, uh, um, uh, part. I was like, say less. Cruised out there. Um, owner and his wife. They. I had my nephew roll with me. Um, shout out to Vinny. Uh, he. Brought, I told him bring your one two four two. He had a green one. Um, so we we cruise out there. We pull up to their house and the husband and wife see our cards. They're like. Okay, these guys, you know, it kind of like they were like shocked to see how, you know, we just how how well kept we kept the cars, and now he's getting rid of a, a part that he had, and so we pull up, and he was so nice, and he was like, yeah, here's the rocket box with the two set um, of um, roof racks, and come to find out, his brother is the owner of Pelican Parts, and so I maintained that relationship with him, you know, to you know. We, coming into this community of the Mercedes Benz. And then he found out that I had a W123. He had extra parts that he threw in. Oh, nice. nice. Too. Oh, really so, um, yeah, it just, it just, just goes to show you with the car community, how mm -hmm. things come together yeah. and everybody's and there. Stay for each other. Stay exactly. Touch, yeah. So the next submission is the next year after this. So this went 94 at 94. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is going to be a 95, same model. There it is. Dude, yeah, hope. That's hope. I love your car, ho. <laughs> this thing is fat. And I like the fact that it's not on airbag. I mean, I love airbags, but this, yeah, it's I love the way it sits. In, um, I'll never use that word static, but I'm too old for that. <laughs> but I do like that it's just on coils, and, oh, man, it's clean. It's it's, I think those, really, are, those are 16s, right? Those are 16s. Really clean. Zender, yeah. Zender yeah, Sports. Yeah, that's, that's tight, man. It's mad, beautiful. Mad props, dude. Mad props. Yeah. And Ho and and Ho um is a, a tech for House of Imports Mercedes Benz, but not a lot of people know his his um history too is not only in the Mercedes Benz community, the DTM, but JDM. Yeah, he's with got his, a, yeah. with his DA. He's got a, a, a second gen Integra, Acura, really clean, oh. right the style before yours, yeah, right. CJ. And man, it's it's cherry, man. It looks really nice. The guy has impeccable taste, but. I'm going to give him the most props, uh, at least for now, because his wife's ride is <laughs> the dynamic oh. duo dynamic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know if we have hers next, but man, um, yeah. Yeah, Melissa. Melissa, dude, this thing. Wow. Yeah, this is a, on Air Ride. This is um, a W212. It's on Air Ride. And when I first saw this come out, I, I had asked um, Ho, too, like, what was the inspiration for your wife to, um, or for you guys to uh, um, swoop up a W212? And I think it was him owning the W124 where she learned to love the styling, but wanted something newer. And I think this was a, a great year um, uh, to have. And what they did to it was great with the LMs, with the BBS LMs. Yeah. And this nice. on Air Ride, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice. What is the handling of it being on Air Ride? And it's, it's actually it's pretty good. They've, they've gotten a lot better over the years. You'd be surprised like how nice they ride. Actually, sometimes they're a little bit more comfortable um, because it's a little bit soft. It's sometimes they react to the road mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But. Yeah, I mean, man, I, I, oh, I, I need some advice on how to get my wife into one of those. <laughs> you have to be so careful how you park it, though. You hit a curb, right? Well, that's, go up to well, the... well that's what's cool about the air ride is, is that, you know, you can have it a higher... You could adjust. Adjust it to oh, where it's higher when oh. you drive, and then you, you know, when you park, you go, oh, you know, oh, and, okay. you know, hard park it. <laughs> I think the wifey is going to, you know, take some cues from this right here. So hopefully that's you nice. get rid of the... Q7. I hope, she, I hope she's listening to this. <laughs> there we go. That, so next awesome. one. this is um, uh, Anne uh, Masick. I'm totally butchering her name, I'm sure. But uh, it's her brother Joe's uh, 67 Nova Wagon. Um, this thing did 1090s in the quarter at 124 uh, miles per hour, uh, like 
25 years ago. And that's Anne uh, posing in front of her brother's car. I think that is I think cool. it's super cool. Man, you would never get, aside from the roll bar in there, you would never guess this thing does it's a sleeper. It's a sleeper. Yeah, that's super cool. I, I really dig that. So... And we do like it when we were talking about this before. We love it when the owner poses with the the vehicle. Yeah, we it's need not, more owner need more posing th- with their yeah. car. Yeah. For sure, <laughs> it is, not, and it's a nice thing to have. Years from now, you'll appreciate that you. Yeah, the photo. Exactly. for sure, for sure. Helm, I'm going to ask you this: yeah. What is a sleeper? A sleeper is one that is um, kind of invisible on the outside um, look, where it ha- it houses a, a power plant. You know, like this, if I would have just see, I mean, minus the roll cage, but if I saw this just parked, I would not think it could do 10. And it would probably, there was probably a rumble to this car, I would imagine. It's probably, oh, it probably wasn't cam, quiet. Yeah, 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 exactly. cam yeah with, with a sleeper, I think you walk up to it and go, oh, it looks stock. And then you open up the hood and you go, Boom. whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, somebody's done something. And Absolutely. not just that, you look underneath, the suspension's been modified too. Absolutely. It's all, from the outside, it just looks stock. Yeah. But you still, you have to look closely to see where the performance gear is dan i'm motor. with you i thought it would be good for camping you would have room for <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i love that, I love that. For, see you know what? Hey, that, different hey, takes. beth i give you props that, that no that i like that sense. that oh, makes sense yeah, I, yeah. i'm with you on that one thank you yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at the next one Ooh. johnny Dallas. I don't have any. I don't have any. This is a 124 right home yeah beautiful um i like the wheels those amgs again right i i think so I they look like amgs right, yeah. Um, I love this picture. For, uh, first of all, I like the, the yellow uh, uh, headlights, but yeah. dude, in front of the Golden Gate Bridge, I've been to that that spot right there. It's super cool. So that is real. I like that shot, man. That's a really cool. Ride. That's a chilly shot, but that's a that is a beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You can tell it's a cold shot. day yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, right? yeah. I hope he doesn't park it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was uh, sent to us by uh, uh, Brian Filoteo, is a buddy of mine. Um, his uh, buddies they have this team called Auto Concept Elite. This thing is a I think it's a two thousand one. Audi S4, but it's been converted to a RS4, which was European only for that year, wide body. So you can see the fenders um, and the, the front and rear fenders and then the bumper um, is all RS4. And I think it's got a, like a three three liter stroker engine. Wow. And I mean, this thing, he, he sent me the build sheet. I was like, hey, I just need to know like a, a detail. Or two. He sent me like a full build sheet. Like, I mean, this thing is a serious, it looks serious great. car. Yeah. And I guess they're working on another wagon, the BMW E... 36 or something like that i don't know they're uh, oh, really? so these guys the dead slow cars they got some pretty awesome cars so this car i think they did this a while ago these these guys got a lot of hot cars out is, there so. is this at their shop right here uh yeah i think it's at their dead slow uh garage well, i could see that you see that volvo wagon in the back too yeah yeah so i you know i'm sure they've got it. yeah yeah they got all kinds of things in the in the works so hopefully we'll get some more if we do the that's cool wagon wednesday again man maybe we'll we'll get some other wagons from them so oh, nice e46 yeah, sean rubio uh so this is a what is this a, a, a 2003 a, yeah a, a 325 xi t so, t yeah it's drive. all-wheel drive i like the wheels on it it's cool yeah it's i like cool. it too. and uh, i think he's um he's got some plans to make this a um six-speed manual oh really it, oh. yeah so that would be really cool so really cool i've never seen those our buddy oh, steve feist just... 66 nova wagon Nice. Um, you can't really see it in the picture, but it's white with the silver top. Oh, okay. On it, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So nice little car. He's Does got he there. drive that? Uh, Never? no. I think, I think, as a matter of fact, his buddy Josh that he talked about when he was on the show, I think bought this car. So, but it's at, they're working on it right now mm-hmm. to get it running. But it's pretty much a whole complete car. It's a really cool car. So, all right, next. Oh, so this is Steve's uh, 60 Nomad Wagon. Wow. Um, so, I, so I, I, Steve, I thank you for because if you see, look, he had to get up on his lift to mm-hmm. get a picture. Lift. Yeah, because look how high he is yep. right there. Oh, okay. So he's got a lot of cars in his shop, so it was tough for him to get the shot. So I appreciate him, you know, taking the shot, even though sure it wasn't very safe. Is that a two tone as well, or is it no? I think it's silver with the the trim in the middle. Oh, okay. uh, the paint in the middle is black. Um, but this is a gorgeous car. Gorgeous what color is the interior? I think it's black. I think it's That's black. beautiful. Yeah, it's a really cool car. Super cool. All right, you guys are gonna love this next one. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, we saw. Right. But he was there this morning. So was John he, yeah. uh, that, at uh, Cars and Coffee yeah. this morning with yeah. his uh, Civic, his purple Civic that you saw. Right. Um, this is his him and his wife's other car. It's a 2004 WRX uh, Subaru. Really cool car. I've seen this in person. Um, Clean. Yeah, I think he's got the. Uh, 
uh, Graham light wheels on it or something like that, but really clean car. And they just had a baby, so I'm pretty oh. sure this is going to work well for their family. Is mm. this more of a hatchback than a station wagon, would you say? Probably. I don't know. I, I, uh, Helm, you, I, I mean, I, within the Subaru um, community, a lot of the Foresters and the Outbacks. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, can you question? I don't know. I, to me, it looks like a wagon. Yeah. But I, you know. Sort of from this angle, it does. Yeah, just yeah. kind of extended. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. I don't know. All right. Cute car. Yeah. Think about All right. It. Now we have a just, special, very special car situation coming up here. Oh, Oh, oh wow. I love it. Both cars. Oh, oh yeah. That's Such blues. A, yeah. Uh, there's so many things to say about this picture yeah. here. But well, go ahead. well, that's a um, um, W123, his, uh, one of his favorite um, personal cars that's he's logged in about a million miles on the block. Is it a million miles or kilometers? Uh, I mean, kilometers. Uh, Still so crazy. Amount. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> kilometers, yeah. yeah. But um, him towing his 356. And when I had asked him, you know, because he sent other photos, too, of him towing, you know, um, W123s, uh, sedans, and, and wagons, he um, informed me that when it comes to the 123 wagons and estates, he's logged in about over 100,000 miles. So you would see him towing, you know, another wagon, another one, two, three. Uh -huh. So amazing things. But um, yeah, this car is very special. And actually, yeah, this this is the car that um, really sparked my interest of seeing it, uh, you know, this this specific chassis. And then for him to go find me my my current um, 80, uh, 83. I'm just amazed that it can tow. Oh, that's yeah. pretty impressive. You know, that's really cool. Obviously, you're towing badass car too so is that is that a td yes yeah so you you would want to haul with the td oh, oh yeah turbo sure. with the turbo yeah. Oh, yeah exactly i love that car that yeah. porsche look at that thing that's a super cool and but, i love when you see when people have been traveling and they have i don't know the names of them that they put in the, oh, grill. the badge the badge the badge yeah. the grills, yeah. the middle so many different badges because like with mercedes benz they um have different badging for different mileage yeah. um mm -hmm. uh, points that you get at a hundred thousand two hundred thousand exactly. three hundred thousand oh. and that's what's great about that is that you know they they want those cars to you know still be on the road and to acknowledge that they're still being driven and um yeah, and, and actually his roof rack on the top is custom made. He custom made that um, roof rack. Um, the shot doesn't uh, show the beautiful wood slats, but, I mean, he's he's towed so many different things with parts on top. Oh, my and, gosh. That's a gorgeous rack on yeah, top. But, it is. Yeah, that, that wagon's very special. Nice rack, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the, really the last submission. And we're going to do something kind of clever with this. And Helm, you came up with this idea. We're going to have a little bit of a contest with this. Oh, yeah. After, that you know, I guess throwing the ideas with, with the whole team, um, we wanted to do something special where um, with the West of Tulsa team, we wanted to see which wagon is our favorite one. Yeah. Well, and, I I think we should leave well, it up to our viewers. You know, okay. uh, you know, if there's a particular wagon that you like, put it in the comments below. You know, on our which on our your favorite. Yeah, one? on our on the YouTube video here. You know, tell us which one you guys like. You know, I want to know what everybody likes out yeah. there. I mean, you know, obviously we have a lot of Mercedes guys, which is awesome. Yeah. But you know, there's a lot of guys out there who didn't who didn't submit. Maybe they'll submit for the next one or whatever. Yeah. But you know, I'd like to know what everybody yeah. likes. And, and we can pick which and, one and, we and, like. And based off um who has the uh, the most likes, we'd love to send them some West of Tulsa merch. Yeah. Our, 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 la our last T shirt. Yeah. <laughs> that that C J war. Yeah. I don't, yeah. That. <laughs> I don't know if they want that. I don't know if they want that. You know, so you know. I think we all I'll watch I'll, it first. <laughs> <laughs> I think all we have is an extra small. I think it's all we got. <laughs> extra small, baby T. <laughs> Joking. No, we actually have a whatever size you want. <laughs> we'll, we'll send you the right size. Yeah, yeah. But no, I I I would personally want to thank everybody who submitted. I mean, you know, we've only been doing this for a, a short time now, and the response and the uh, support has been tremendous. I can't thank you guys enough for all your contributions and you know it's just been really really cool and i'm, I'm glad we were able to do this because um i hope we could do more stuff like this you know Absolutely. tell us also too you know on our instagram or on our youtube if you if you want to see more stuff like this we'll do a truck one we'll do a you know yeah. i mean we can get into the hondas and the and the and the chevys and the fords and all that stuff too but you know i really like you know the fact that you know wagons are such a unique thing and they probably don't get as much love as they should do you think there's a resurgence in, in station wagon popularity Absolutely. oh yeah for absolutely sure. yeah. we actually said that to a couple guys today asked a couple guys today at cars and coffee you know it was like you know what do you think about wagons or do you think they're making it's like i think they're 
making a comeback here. Yeah. You know, I really think that that people are digging it because you don't see them as often anymore. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of like a throwback, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So whether it's an old car or a new car, I mean, I, I saw a guy today with a uh, CTS or a Cadillac CTSV uh, wagon. I love those cars. One because it's got a ton of power in them, but they, you know, it's a wagon. You can take the family and make a rip down the track. You know, it's pretty cool. So and and with wagons in general, their production number is a lower. Mm-hmm. So that's Overall, what makes right. them a little sure. bit rare as they get older, mm-hmm. and, and as and people appreciate them, exactly values have been going exactly. up. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. So Mercedes, BMW, Volvo. Who else is making wagons today? Um, uh, Does Honda still make the Accord wagon? They don't. Honda. No, no. Yeah. Um, Subaru. Um, what other? What about Saab? Saab has oh, an Acura Saab. had one. Oh, oh I, lo- well, I love the Saab. Yeah. Saab's long gone though. Well, I know, but I love their. I did. Saab if we were actually, if we actually knew what we were talking about and car experts, we could probably answer that question quickly. <laughs> but we don't. Comments. Somebody yeah. will probably see this and yeah, say, yeah. "Okay, here's who still has them or not." Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. I'm yeah. sure there's people out there on interwebs that will tell us yeah. all the information that has it really, readily available to them. So you know, and we're sitting here talking as if wagons are something fairly new, but as we were researching this. Well, I knew this years ago, but Paul Newman was huge oh, yeah. into wagons. Mm. He loved his Volvos. In fact, he had one called a Volvette. <laughs> oh, really? A Volvette. It was a 1988, maybe, Volvo. I can't remember exactly, but he swapped out the motor out of the Volvo and put an LS2 in it. Oh, wow. 400 horsepower. I like it. Wow. Yeah, he had several wagons that, really? yeah, that he customized, if you will. And they were sleepers. Now that now everybody stock. knows they the look, sleepers, they look, they look yeah. totally stock, and but then you lift up the hood, and it was like, yeah. Wow. I know we had family friends who would only buy Volkswagen, excuse me, Volvo wagons when their kids were learning how to drive, especially their sons. Oh, because they're the safety, the safety road. Yeah. Volvo was the safest car. That's right. Like, that's, built like a tank. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, one of the kids totaled two of them, and they walked away. Totally fine. What does that tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't give that kid a car. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's matured. He's okay. a, a nice young man. Now, okay. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, did we cover everything with wagons? Or yeah. Is there I mean, anything so. else I think anybody this, want to throw I, in there? No, I think this is good. Uh, like I said, thanks to everybody who submitted. And, uh, you know, we'll definitely put put the pictures out there on on our Instagram page and um, maybe even do a blog post to write up about it. Yeah. It'd be kind of yeah. cool. You know, yeah. I like I said, I, truly appreciate everybody submitting this really cool they didn't have to do that but they did and it some was awesome. beautiful yeah. wagons for sure so, since we're kind of soliciting for show ideas and stuff here i want to get the truck rodeo guys on ah truck rodeo oh, uh, i am nice. i am i'm obsessed with these these are far like an international harvest oh. 69 ihc that's selling for like 170 grand it's like for wow. a farm truck. Wow. And I grew up on a ranch, so that's that's my vote. That would be interesting. So so before we sign off, why don't we why don't we go around the circle like Beth? What what would you like to see, Beth, as as uh, an upcoming episode where we kind of get focus like this? I have a million of ideas. Um one of them is with photogs, which we've talked about, oh, and the yeah. types of vehicles yeah. that they've driven to go catch breaking news. I'd like to hear from women. Women who collect oh. cars, women, and the, just the story. Helmut likes that women, too. He's yeah. single. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I like that. I have a lot of good friends who have beautiful cars and, and just the stories, as we say. But that story with uh, the news photog, yes. how interesting would yeah. that be? Yeah. It'll be very colorful, Gabe. <laughs> I like that. And off-color, too, probably. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I love yeah. it. <laughs> and we're close. I think we've almost got... Got a Enough few guys. locked up. Okay, yeah. good. So, CJ, how about you? Uh, maybe a Porsche show? Yeah, I would, or what? You know, I would say I would probably like to see somebody from the 356 world come in and talk about. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think so, we, somebody might know somebody. You yeah. think so? Yeah. Well, you know somebody that knows like, 356? Um, I think his name's Blue. Uh, where in the world is Blue? Yeah. Kansas City right now. <laughs> Kansas yeah. City? Okay. So, we'll have to. We'll have to have them head west of Tulsa. Uh, absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. And come join us here. Exactly. Up on the 10. Yeah. How about, yeah. what do you get? So, Anything? So, Helm, yeah, how about another show, Helm? And we did the long roof show. So what? what's next on the agenda for you? What, what would you like to see? Well, I mean, it's cool that, you know, we are kind of picking um, from our internal team and what we love, right? So, you know, you guys, you know, getting to meet me know that I love wagons and we kind of, it, it just made sense to do a, a show uh, dedicated to it. But, going down the line i'd love to meet and learn more about the rotary world ah, i took the word out of my man mind. No, no i mean because you well, know yeah you too you took a tag team on that one no i mean i'd love to i just you know hear especially from 
I, I think it's Bernie. Uh, Bernie, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. those kind of stories of the Rotary. Okay. I, I am I'm clueless about that. Are you talking about um, Rotary Club? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask the question. I don't know. Any, I don't know any different. Any Mazda. Baby. Mazda. Okay. All Rotary <laughs> friends are probably laughing their asses off. Oh man. When, when are we gonna have the <laughs> elk? I want the elk. The elk. The Rotary. Yeah, 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 and all of them. Hey, they've got well, their meetings too, you guys. That is funny. They're a civil group. They're really are a very good. We're gonna get the Kiwanis Club. I and, uh, Did I say this was my last show? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, Gabe, you're up. That is hilarious. Well, yeah, uh, definitely uh, rotaries, and uh, that's not a question we're going to do that because there's so much, especially uh, my my buddy Bernie from Seven Stock. I mean, they've been doing this for 25, 26 years, and there's such a the rotary guys are like kind of like VW guys. You know, they they get um, they get talked. People talk a lot of trash about them, just like VWs. You know, but there's such a I mean, there's such a great community of guys, and uh, you know, I think there's there's so many characters with Rotary guys. You have to be a character to be interested in Rotary. It's such a w- interesting engine. Mm-hmm. It's not a, a normal engine. Well, it's like as we are learning now that Beth is a Corvair owner, they fall in the same ca- category. The Corvair folks, I mean, they're pretty rabid, and it's a <laughs> it's a funky car. As a Rotary owner, I'm offended, but all right. <laughs> can we do a Corvair show? Is there, we could is do a there, Corvair We know show. enough yeah, Corvair absolutely. people to bring on sure, a panel 100%. of Corvair owners? Rabid all 12 Corvair people. owners, yep. All right. Yeah. Nice. If you're talking about funky engines. Uh, that's definitely funky. I'll, that give right I'll, give that. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. When I lift up the hood now on Beth 61, people look yeah. at it and go, whoa, look, what's, yeah. what's the belt doing? <laughs> so it kind of goes up and around and yeah. up and down. And But no, I'm with you, Dan, too, also as trucks. I want to do trucks because, man, I love trucks. Trucks are awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, just short cab street trucks to trophy trucks to, you know, I I love talking about trucks. I'm And I, I know guys with trucks got all kinds of stories. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and we're growing our audience, and I think we just want to put out this episode. If you sat through our wagon episode, we're putting this out to our audience. Like, we, we want to hear from you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hondas yep, with definitely. fart cans, rotary guy, whoever. You just you guys... all the Honda guys. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hondas without fart cans. <laughs> yeah. how, about, how about an NSX the, the, show? The, oh, yeah, yeah. The non farty Hondas. <laughs> yeah. Non farty Hondas. Oh, right. Non farty Honda. <laughs> yeah. But the point being is, we, we, we're, we're everywhere on socials. So, yeah, yeah. so hit us on socials. Like, yeah, what, yeah. what, do, you guys, you guys. what yeah. do you guys want to see? Because we love getting panels of like rabid yeah. people. And, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and that, that's what we want to do. We want to talk to the community and hear the stories. That's totally. what it's all about. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. So we have to encourage people to go to the comments section. Tell us which wagon you like because we will announce who the winner yeah. maybe in the next show yep. who who won it. Yep. 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 And we'll send them off a t shirt and hope it fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we gonna round robin here and and say what your favorite wagon was no, you saw I'm here or no? We're not gonna do that. Well, wait, I don't I don't yeah. think we should yeah, we're, yeah. we're not gonna taint the judge. No, we, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. We, we each it, have a vote. Yeah, we don't want to sway the uh No. The voting. No, no, oh, no. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So on that, anything else on wagons? Is that it? No, I think All right. We're good. I think Blue went, Nelson had more airtime than any of us today. <laughs> he did. He's a mystery like, man. He's a mystery man. He's going to join us here, hopefully, someday. Wouldn't that be Soon. great? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Soon, yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, follow us on socials. Like, follow, subscribe. Uh, go to the YouTube channel. Okay, there we go. <laughs> was, he was a little channel, bit on that channel. One. You, channel. You can, you can gesture to me channel. and I'll say <laughs> channel. channel. I'm out right. of breath. So the YouTube channel, you can also leave your comments there. Tell us which wagon you like. And we also have the tip line. So go to that. Go to our website and fill out the tip line and send it in to us because we would love to have you on West of Tulsa. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you West of Tulsa.